Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today is a very busy day for me and I literally took my phone out this morning and wrote down everything I need to get done because it's so much stuff I forget and this happened. This full on mask of glitter, glitter and lashes and liner and foundation and everything happened and I don't know how. I don't know how, it just did. But it's fine, it's okay, I guess I'll sleep tomorrow because uh, I'll need to get the stuff done tonight. So let's jump into the look and I'm going to show you now how it happened. I'm starting with the eye so let's prime first the eyelids because this will ensure that the eye makeup is going to stay put a longer time. Then to set the base is always a good idea, although this um, primer I've used is on the dry side so you don't theoretically need it but I always do this because I want no streakiness on my eyelids I want the eyeshadows to glide on like a dream the powder I've used here is from Bare Minerals then for the eye look I'm taking the Nude Spectrum from Ziva and first I'm taking a transition shade that one right there and as I've said this is my transition shade so I'm applying this into my crease and also on the outer corners um, as well I'm dragging it inwards into my inner part of the eye but I'm not going too much near the nose. The brush I'm using here is a 228 from Ziva and then to blend the edges out I'm going to use another brush that's from Bedelium Tools. So now comes the moment when everything changed. I haven't had the slightest intention to use the black. It just happened as I've said in my intro, but I have no regrets. I do like the look, how it turned out in the end. So I'm applying the black on my lash line and then I'm going to blend that out and transform this look into a very smoky one and then apply the glitter, but you're going to see that later. I'm using to apply this um, a small crease brush from Real Techniques. It doesn't really matter, it just should be a small brush because we're going to blend that out. As I've said, I'm using the brown which is a maroony reddish kind of color and um, the same Bedelium Tools brush which is a blending one and I'm going to blend with it the hell out of this eyeshadow, black eyeshadow, and yet transform the look I intended to do. I'm applying the maroony color and blending out the black one with it gradually because it's very important with very pigmented eyeshadows to go slowly and you know layer by layer um, rather than just apply it smack it on the eyes and you know try then to blend the edges out and make it look good maybe it takes a bit more time but it's easier like this and it definitely looks better in the end so I'm going slowly building up the color gradually as I've said and also in the end I am going to to mix the brown with the black for the outer corners and intensify the color there. From time to time just take a clean blending brush and run it along the edges just to make sure that you don't have any harsh lines. Okay now I'm going to clean underneath the eyes and you see now this is one of the main reasons I always start with the eyes and not with the base because I can clean up underneath, I can take like a wipe and just you know wipe off every fallout. Now for the glitter I'm taking a Stila Magnificent Metals Foil Finish Eyeshadow in Pixie Dust, a beautiful colour and I'm applying this with a flat brush and then I'm going to end up applying it with the finger because it has has more coverage and density. 
I'm placing the glitter just on the inner half of the eye and as I go towards the outer corners um, the glitter becomes more sparse and you know less dense N not less dense less dense Jesus sometimes I can't speak properly And if I use glitter, of course, we can use eyeliner as well. So I'm going with the Illa Masca one in black and applying it with an angled brush from Ziva. If you want to make your liner sharp, you know, like razor sharp, just take a bit of your concealer or foundation and um, go along the lower edge of that liner. And now for mascara, I am using this one from Ica, which I love, and I'm coating my top lashes only with it because on the bottom ones, I'm going to use a waterproof mascara, which is my favorite one from MAC. And now for false lashes, I'm going to use a pair from Arison Lashes that I really, really like. I love Arison Lashes in general. I've said this before, it's not, you know, something new. And I'm using now the D606 and then move on to the base because it's what I usually do and finish the eyes later. And for the base, I am applying a moisturizer first from La Roche Posay, the um, Hydra Face Intense Cream. And I love this one. It's not too greasy, but it does, you know, leave you with like a healthy glow. And next, I'm putting a face primer from NYX, which is called Pore Filler. I love this one very much. It's um, affordable, you know, in comparison with the Benefit one or other more expensive ones. And for foundation, I'm taking the Revlon Color Stay one which is you know an oldie but a really really goodie and the color I'm using here is 180 sand beige in general I like to apply my liquid foundations with sponges just like this one you know the beauty blender or like um, what's that calls from real techniques the miracle complexion one because in my opinion it looks more natural more polished I have promised you in one of my recent tutorials that I'm going to use more Bare Minerals products because they are so, so good. I'm so impressed with them. And here I am using a concealer. This is the Bare Skin Complete Coverage Serum Concealer in the shade Fair, uh, sorry, Fair. And I like it so much I could use it as a foundation, you know, for my entire face because it has like a medium coverage. And if you don't have too much puffiness and moviness underneath the eyes, this is the best one you could buy. Uh, of course, it costs more than a regular drugstore concealer, like a Maybelline one or whatever, but it's good. It's really, really good. By the way, the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer is a really good choice, a drugstore choice. If you don't want to spend too much money on a makeup product, just keep in mind, it has a medium coverage, very much similar to this one and a bit more dewy, but it's a very good product as well. So now I'm setting my whole base into place. I'm using the same powder from Bare Minerals from the beginning. And the brush is a tapered one, a face brush from e.l.f. The bronzer is the Back to Bronze from L'Oreal in the shade Sunkiss number 2 and the brush is from Beauty Bay. I bought a whole set of it. From that whole set I think I like almost every brush aside from two which are for the eyes and they just don't work for me.
And now I'm going to contour underneath the cheekbones. I'm using the NYX um, powder, which is in taupe, and the brush is from Ziva. For blush I'm using this one from Deborah which is called 61 it doesn't have any name just a number and the brush is from Essence Then for highlighter, I'm going to use this one which I love from Laura Geller. It's called Gilded Honey and I'm applying it with a fan brush from Ziva. And I like this one because it's a highlighter. It's not glitter, you know, on the cheeks. It's like dewiness on the skin. That's a big, big difference. For tight lining, which I always, always do, I don't skip the step. I think it's a big difference if you do it or if you don't. Um, I am using now the Black Track from MAC. I'm always using this when I want to be sure that it's not going to be, you know, running anywhere. Such a good product. And now I'm going to finish off the eyes. I'm applying the same maroony color along the lash line. And then I'm going to put also the black one just, you know, to intensify the look. In the waterline goes the Maybelline Tattoo Liner, which is like a crayon, a waterproof one. But of course, I could have used the black track from MAC. I just <laughs> haven't thought of that. I had this uh, liner on my table and I just grabbed it. But uh, the MAC one, that's really good. This one is also good, but after a while, you need to reapply it. The MAC gel, no, you don't. To my lower lashes, I'm going to apply now the MAC Extended Play Mascara in black, which is a waterproof one, and I love it so much. For the brows, I'm using precisely my brow crayon or pen, whatever. Um, this is a very good product from Benefit in the shade 5. Then to finish off the look, I'm going to do now lips and first I'm applying a lip definer, which is a lip liner um, from Burberry in the shade Dusty Rose. To top it off, I'm going to use now the Trish McAvoy um, lip and cheek booster and this is the shade perfect red so my darlings i really hope you like my look and if you did and only then please give me a thumbs up don't forget and also um, subscribe my channel if you haven't already if you have massive massive thank you and also follow me on social media i'm on instagram and facebook and on vero i'm gonna catch you now in my next tutorial bye